And up next, we're making a delicious Chex Mix with a twist that you could make at home for dinner tonight or for a snack. I'm in big trouble, you guys. We're back in the kitchen with a really delicious, savory snack, and it's got a gourmet twist. We have chef de cuisine Johnny Marchetti of the District American Kitchen and Wine Bar Marchetti. Yes, right? ma'am. Okay. Mm -hmm. And um, you're having fun in here. I am. Okay. Tons. So you're doing sort of a take on Chex Mix, yes. right? Yes. But you've got a lot of really fun ingredients. So what did you start with here, Chef? So what we did is we started with some cherry wood smoked bacon, as you can kind of hear that crackling on the bottom there. And then once the bacon finishes, and we're going to serve this warm. Oh. So once it finishes, we add some peanuts, some cashews, some Marcona almonds. And then I'm about to throw some a couple corn nuts in there. Right, some of our favorite salty snacks to go along maybe with some beer or something like that. Little this touch. is incredible. The corn nuts and the Marcona almonds uh -huh. and the big jumbo cashews. And I notice that on the bacon, it's kind of a thicker bacon, but you cut it yes. already in sort of one inch pieces, right? Yes, okay. exactly. All and right. it just helps it cook and, and kind of brings out all that delicious bacony flavor. So rather than do see. kind of a popcorn oil or something, you're using all that bacon. Exactly. Yep. Bacon liquid, we're going to call That's, it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> we don't want to stay away. I don't want to stay away from the F word, I guess. <laughs> and we'll kind of move that around a little bit. Gourmet then, grease, we're going to call there it. There you How's go. How's that, okay? Yep. And then I have my, uh, this is some of our house-made mole spice. It's kind mm. of a mixture of um, cocoa powder, chili powder, mm. a little bit of um, chili gonna, flakes. I'm going to put that right here so we can yeah, see please. that because that's really pretty. And there's cocoa powder in there, huh? There is. There's okay. cocoa powder. And then one of my favorite ingredients, cocoa puffs. Oh, yeah. We're so getting, that's the sweetness. Yes. Now we're getting into fine dining here. <laughs> cocoa puffs. Look at your pantry over here. Bit. This is amazing. Yeah. Wow. And it really, the idea really just came from having things laying around and, and just kind of putting it all together. And Seriously, you came up with this yeah. just kind of... Well, I definitely didn't. I mean, not the Czechs mix, but putting the Cocoa yeah, Puffs, the Marcona almonds, the corn nuts, and just was just kind of having some fun in the kitchen one day. And just what we came up with. We needed a snack to put out on the tables for, for some of our bar patrons, and this just worked. And, and when you add bacon and cocoa puffs, I mean, come on. Okay, but I think wrong. this is a completely healthy meal. <laughs> Good, that's a good way to think about it. You know, we shouldn't think too much when we're eating things like this. Think of all the calories you burn crunching. Exactly. Right? And you just, and that's the key to you gotta stir it, get all the flavor around, plus you burn off some extra, right. you know, some extra energy. Now this is, is this something that we can find at uh, the restaurant all the time, or is this just for your this special This is actually, event? well, it's gonna be for our special special event this Friday. We have our Third Street Beer Club event where tell people, us about can, people can come. They can taste some of this delicious Chex Mix. They can get one of our growlers. They can also get a punch guard that they can start. And then if they get it punched 12 times by getting beers with us, they get a free growler or a free um, growler fill. And we will be serving this on Friday. And it'll be kind of a little tease because we're actually going to put it as a bar snack on our on our fall menu. This is incredible. It's got all of the flavors that you could possibly want. It's got all the crunch that you want. Now, how long do you work that in before it's ready? Because it has to sit for yes, a while, Yes, it definitely right? does. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to put a little more seasoning on it just oh, to make man. sure we kind of get all that in there. They're going to get through the growlers or something like this. Oh, right? definitely. Exactly. <laughs> Get halfway through, eat a, eat a couple handfuls of this, and you'll maybe have two or three of them. Right, so what I'm going to do is actually we would we would put this on a sheet pan, and we would bake it off okay. um, normally for probably about an hour, depending. At just what kind temperature? Of stirring at around 300. So nice and, and then, low. Yep. Okay. And then just kind of stirring it occasionally, letting all the flavors incorporate, bring out everything there. And then that's about it. We have some of our, our finished mix over there. Yeah, you're going to pour and that in pour there. And just this right in here just to kind of see. And then what we'll do um, wow. at the restaurant, we like as I said, we'll serve it warm. So I'll kind of just, it'll just be toasted up quickly yeah. to order with some of, the, some of the bacon. See, now I put my hands on all of this so it's mine. Yes, there you go. <laughs> the but th this you is how you it. serve it here. I love this yep. with the bacon in there. So how do you uh -huh. eat something like that? So just I dive think in? Just dive in. Yeah. Use your hands. Yep, have fun with it. And then when you get to the end, if you can wait that long, then you have a couple pieces of local Shriners bacon to, to munch on too. Chef, this is a really, really fun Czech snack with a gourmet twist. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Just You're very uh, welcome. The, the chef spin on it here. And to find out more information about all the events they've got going on, the one in particular on Friday, you can go to districtrestaurant.com.